How is Constantine assimilating to being part of a team? Um, uh, how does Constantine ever assimilate to being part of a team? You know, he's someone that, uh, well, we all know the way, he's someone that doesn't work well with the team, but I think it's an, a necessity for him and for them as well. And I feel that he works well in this team, as well in this team, or better in this team than he would in kind of any other, because they're all misfits, they've all got their problems. And what's been interesting is kind of seeing the relationships develop. But, you know, each episode, there's, there's, there's a little bit more of the relationships between each one of the characters, kind of, uh, that, that's expanded. Before. And what's cool is, like, for me, it's great, because they're all relationships that, that I've ne I haven't read about, you know? What's great about confidence? all the source materials there, so you can always get your head into that, but we're doing stuff that's, uh, that I can't get from the comics, so yeah. it's kind of creating that. So that, that's been like the challenge and, uh, and the fun thing, and kind of you know, working out all those different dynamics and relationships have been, have been great. But I think, he, I think he's, you know, he's, got his, he's got his motives, why he's there, but I think he's become, um, he's, he's, the, 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 the crew, are, uh, they're growing on him. You know, all these relationships are developing, so whatever his ultimate motives are, probably going to be harder to uh, to go through with. Aside from Gary, are we going to see Constantine get any other love interests? Um, uh, maybe, maybe. Um, where's Gary yet, Brad? Yeah. Where's Gary? Yeah. I think him and Gary. You know, I think the, the, the one thing I love about John is that you know, he, so many people around him die. So many people around die, and I think that there's there's this great thing about him that you know he knows that. So there's a part of him that wants to kind of protect people from him, which is sad for him. It's ultimately like a really tragic thing for him. But you know he kind of kind of keeps people at, at arm's length. But also you know so I think he's kind of done that with Gary. You know when he was a little bit of a fling, but kind of goes yeah he's a little green. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, he feels he's not deserving. Oh, and in terms of his relationships, right. I think it's more to do with yeah, uh, people will the, the shit will go down on them if right. if they if if he uh, if they open up to he brings them into if he brings them into his fray, then he's just done. you know they they're in they're in for trouble, and so there so there's a part of it. It's almost it's almost as if like the more he likes them, the less he will get involved with them. Right. You know, if it's a one night stand, he's fine. But you know, if it's something that's going to develop as a relationship, then. Um, then it's uh, it's more dangerous for them. So that there is a, a lovely kind of protecting thing about him that he's trying to do that. But, uh, but we might see we might see something something happen somewhere along the line. Yeah. We've seen through next week's episode. So can you talk a little bit about this person that Nora flashes on when she's helping Constantine? Sort of where that storyline might be headed. Um, I think I'll, I'll I'll leave that to the surprise. Am I allowed to talk about that? I think I should leave that till. Uh, to, um, for you guys to watch it, but that's that's going to be part of the of, of storyline. It's part of John's past. The great thing is he's got so many demons in the closet and so many previous relationships that have gone wrong that uh, we can call upon it. And, uh, and that's that's going to be something that we that we touch on. He's definitely carrying some baggage and he's brought some some heavy baggage to the Wave Rider and uh, stuff for him to work out. Well, speaking of that baggage. How much of that is from what we've seen from like you specifically playing this character on you know the NPC series and then on in the animated series like how much of that is being brought onto his backstory? Here? Uh, I think um, it's the same character, it's the same DNA of the character. The way I see it is, it's like you know I've read so many of the comics now. There's so many different artists and different writers. And sometimes you go from one to another. He looks, you know, still the same kind of outline, but he looks different. The hair's slightly different. He's got a slightly different cadence sometimes, or you know, different artists and uh, writers write him a different way. So I kind of feel like Legends is that, you know, the him from the NBC show to Justice League Dark to Constantine City of Demons to this. They're all like different, different uh, colors. Then, or not different colors. They're all different kind of comic books. The different writers and artists who have drawn him. But it's still the same DNA of the character. But um, the, in terms of the, the storyline that we, would, we did on the NBC show with the Brugeria, well, we won't be getting into that. But, um, but John still carries that baggage around with him. And, uh, and especially the Astra storyline is so, so much part of a driving force in John's makeup, I think. You know, that, uh, the fact that he damned that little girl to hell. And, um, so, so that's definitely 
definitely there. We've mentioned that a few times. But in terms of the story of the Brooklyn Rio storyline, we, 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 we won't be getting into that on, on this show. Obviously, sorry. Well, I was going to say, speaking of baggage, he, um, we know that one of the reasons that Constantine joined the team in the first place is because something from his past has started to yeah. reemerge. So can you tease how that sort of develops in the... Yeah, what's great is like it's all. What's great about being on an ensemble show is the fact that you know it's not just Constantine, right? So it's like there's got to be all these other storylines, character development, and stuff like that. But it's in the background. It's lingering. Why is he here? What's going on? What's following him? What's after him? And that's that's a slow burn throughout the whole throughout the whole season, which is which is great. And uh, and it's I, I think we do really see a kind of development in John. In, on this show, that we maybe didn't get to see so much on the NBC show because we didn't finish it, right? Well, we, we, we got to the cliffhanger, we, did, we weren't able to kind of really do the, the, the arc that the writers wanted to do, and I think that on this show we're really going to see a kind of a nice arc for him, so that's, uh, that, that's great for me to play a full arc on a season, do you know what I mean? It's, uh, <laughs> rather than getting cut short and not being able to kind of write it to the end. But, 